Hi guys, welcome back to your weekly readings. I trust you guys had a wonderful week last week and are gearing up for the new week coming in. Today we're going to visit the energies that will affect us from the week of February the 6th through to the 12th. The channeled message for this week is to live without malice. Be your true authentic self. Um, try not to allow the the fearful energies that surround us or the people that are manipulating or trying to manipulate you in your own life to affect you as much. Be your own self. Nothing shall be impossible to you if you truly believe. After I started to get into those messages, I decided to pull some of the cards from my Jesus deck. Okay, Blessed are those that hear and keep the word of God. Because these are the people that will have, or the souls that will have additional help from the divine, from the angelic realm. Because you're being authentically true to yourself and what you believe that the divine does have uh, power over us, that, that we are connected and we need to spread the word. Nothing shall be impossible unto you if you truly believe. And for those of you that have children or that have grandchildren, it's time to connect with them, to share with them your beliefs, to, to show them that there's a better way, that there are angels around us that help protect us, that help guide us. Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you if you ask um, for things and you don't see them being materialized seek within yourself the kingdom of God because that is where it exists that connection that you have with the divine and all of the things shall start to appear but you first you need to uh, look within and this is a very deep connection that you must make with the divine and, and true and honest and, and come from a, a pure heart a pure place in your heart with no malice intended at all whatsoever or no gain no monetary gain things like that the, the heart has to be like a child if you knock the door shall be opened so if you seek the kingdom of God within if you seek for answers if you seek for guidance which is what they represent the door will open they will guide you the problem is once we get our guidance do we actually follow it are we afraid to step into the unknown to step into the connection with the divine and just allow it to guide us because it, it's always talking to us there's always signs all around us that come from them from the divine from the angels from jesus himself if if that is who you speak to because he does answer each and every one of us all of the time he's right in front of us we just don't see him we don't vibrate that high but if we could you would see that he's always there you can always make an appointment with the man upstairs. That is how it was told to me once in a dream. Because I wanted to speak to that soul. Ask and it shall be given unto you. The guidance will come. The answers will come. What you desire to manifest in this reality will come. But you need to ask for it. You need to ask for assistance. And you need to ask all of the time. You have to open dialogue with spirit with the divine with the angels to move those messages to the divine for you if that's the route you want to take it's like the native americans they they uh they pray to the eagle which transfers the messages to the divine to the great spirit which is what they call it but they that is their angel they have wings as well and huge wings at that because eagles are majestic animals majestic birds and they use that to transform their messages from our plane to you know the plane of the divine we use the angels you know same thing wings it's an energy um, you're being asked not to judge others because if you dare to judge another soul which is a part of you anyway you will be judged by the divine you will be judged by the angels which are there to you know keep the balance they judge we don't um 
we're not allowed. And always keep in mind that everyone that is around you, we're like onions. There's many layers to us that we don't really understand yet, um, that we can't because we're in flesh. We cannot see it. We don't realize it. But everyone that has anything to do with us in our lives is part of us. It's who we are. It's who we were in another lifetime. It's facets of us, parts of us, like the diamond and, and rough. You know, these are all little pieces of us that we need to work on. They're all constantly uh, teaching us what we need to do, how we need to um, better work on our souls in order to transgress the lesson the level, the situation, raise our vibrations to get to the next step, to get to the next um, lesson that we need to work on. We're being asked to be the peacekeepers, to bring peace to the earth, to spread the word of the divine, the connection, our spiritual selves. Be the one that brings peace to those around you. No matter what's going on, Right now, there's a lot of chaos, of course, everywhere in the world because they allow the negative energies and the media and the gossip to affect them. <clears throat> like I've said in other videos, I don't listen to it. That way, it doesn't have anything to do with my life. And when I'm low, depleted of energy because of the people around me or the situations that drain me on a daily basis, sometimes, not always, I go to nature. Nature will replenish your energy. So if you find yourself low uh, of vital energy, spend the day outside in the sun or connecting to Mother Earth. Lay down on the ground. It will immediately give you energy so that you can keep going and bring peace to those around you. See, she has the olive branch, holding up the olive branch of peace, of teaching others what it truly is if you bring peace within your own life everything around you starts to change as we do create we are co-creators with the divine of the experiences that we have in our daily lives if we allow others to tell us what path to take then we have double the trouble because we're not listening to our own intuitive guidance we're not going down our own path so you can't let that affect you as well because then you really um, have a lot more work to do in order to line yourself back up with your own guidance, with your own intuition, what's happy, what's better for you, your own path. Bring peace to the people around you. Bring peace to your interior. That way everything that comes out of you is, has a peaceful, soft energy to it, which you're being asked to try to uh, be more peaceful that everything that you see see it with that energy around it peace tranquility love that way your days are easier find pleasure in the things that you do see this lady here laid in the grass with beautiful flowers around her i'm not saying that you need to find a meadow with flowers which would be really nice if you could i don't have one around here but in my mind, I can go into this place and just lay there and wear the beautiful white robe and be at peace so that we can bring pleasure into our lives. Be at peace with everything that is around us. And if you do have a place like this, go lay in, in the grass, go lay in, amongst the flowers and smell them. Smell the air, breathe in, connect to the earth. That way you can take pleasure in the things that you do. Find pleasure in the things that you do on a daily basis. Because everything has its um, certain degree of pleasure. The conversation with others, the, the air, the energy around the places that you go. Being outdoors, the sun shining, or snow falling. All of it has a certain degree, again, of beauty and pleasure. So try to find pleasure in the things that you do and bring that energy of peace to it so that you can enjoy your days a bit more. For the beginning of the week, some of us may have um, a new project that starts up, a new person that steps into our lives, a new situation that comes into our lives that's very creative, that's very fiery and passionate that will spark passion within your heart, within your mind. Maybe it's a new idea for a, um, a business 
if you guys are entrepreneurs or <clears throat> want to start your own business, you may get an idea that, that's sparked by the divine to do so, to follow your intuition, to follow your intuitive guidance. There are some things that may be revealed to you this week that up to now have been veiled. You have not seen it because you have not been ready to see these things, these truths that will come to you through your intuitive guidance, through your guides, your angels, through asking, knocking on the door and saying, please guide me and help me so that I'm on the right path. And boom, all of a sudden something is revealed because you asked, you wanted to see. You will get it, okay, because of the empress. Um, <clears throat> the empress is here too as well. Because of the high priestess. Now this situation may herald a bit of a discomfort or... The changes may come through another person, a struggle, something that ends, something that needs to be cut out of your life that no longer serves a purpose. And it, it's aided by this, okay? Your intuition is talking to you and you're afraid to make the changes. The changes will be helped by another situation that happens, okay? So that you can move forward. So that your creative passion it's brought on by the Queen of Wands, which is a fire sign that may either assist you or these energies are what you will have to embody. The energies of the Queen of Wands. She's very warm. She's very passionate. She's very creative. The ideas that she sparks can turn into financial security or something new that hasn't been thought of yet. New ways, new, new ways of doing things. So you may change some rules at work or you may change the way things done just by being yourself by creating a new path by doing something new that hasn't been done yet and that could be what this is maybe this could be a promotion at work or a new a new facet of your job that's opening up that something that hasn't been done before and they decide that you would be great for that because you have a lot of creative imagination or a lot of creativity that you bring to the table that others really don't have and they're not as mutable as you could be so you might be the best person for the job or a person that steps into your life a new person that sparks up a lot of passion and this person comes in in a hurry and will want to make changes in your life Okay, but you need to listen to your intuition and figure out if this is the best thing for you. Maybe there's something that you've been asking for. As you, as you have the Nine of Cups here, which is the wish card, which is abundance materialized. Something that you have wanted, that you've worked very hard for. In your emotional life, you're ready for things to start to show. Maybe you've asked for a new partner or for more of a commitment with the partner that you do have at the moment. Okay, and it opens up, the veil drops, and you find out some things. And it's something that you've wanted. <clears throat> so, if it's in your job sector, then you're having to learn something new in order to achieve this. <clears throat> if it's in your romance area, then it's something new that begins with another person, and it could be an earth sign. All right. Next, you get the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is someone that has been hurt in the past, someone that has spent a long time alone. If you have been single for many years, someone new is coming into your life, so prepare for that because it's something that you kind of secretly have wanted, but you may not be uh, totally ready for it yet, but they are coming. So you may have to cut things out of your life that no longer serve a purpose, things that that you have put into your life in order to keep you busy so that you don't think of the things that you really don't have in your life anymore that you wish you did because <laughs> you're wishing it but you may not be prepared because the queen of swords is very logical in the way that she thinks and she doesn't try to put any emotion into anything so that she doesn't get hurt but this guy here this guy here is not worried about that this guy is going to rush through your life so you need to uh, pay attention to the things that you do this week. Because if it's choices you need to make at work, you need to think them through. If somebody's trying to rush your decisions, tell them that you must sleep on it. That you let them know the next day or two days from that. 
so that you have plenty of time to weigh your options because when the Knight of Swords um, comes through a situation, he goes very quickly. And sometimes you will make the wrong choice or you'll go in the wrong decision out of fear. Um, so be careful, whatever that may be. If it's a new person that's coming into your life, then be very careful. Don't, you know, take your time getting to know them because they may not be um, what they are perceived to be at the very beginning because they could just be a situation that comes into your life or a person in order to pivot you and change you on it and get you on the right path <laughs> because once you ask once you knock it's given to you but the thing is the way that it comes may not be exactly the way that you have envisioned it in your mind because you don't have that you know, wide perspective of what's happening. So they'll send someone very quickly through your life to change everything because you asked. So you must be careful because it'll come through the fact that you have asked for something and the veil drops and you get to see the changes that are coming. You get to see something that you've been doing um, up to now that really either doesn't jive with your life or you can do it differently. There's something that will be revealed and someone that comes through to help change it. All right, then you just have to stand your ground and be very creative about how you're going to make these changes. And again, it's coming due to a wish that you have made and the fact that you have asked for guidance. You may have to study. If not, it'll just be a new experience that happens. It could be someone younger that comes into your life if you're single. And if you are in a relationship, okay, these are just changes that are coming in order to move you to the next level of a relationship, okay? So don't be afraid, all right? You'll have to start a new thing. Perhaps you have to go back to school, learn something new, get a better job so that you can move into a better home or a bigger home or move out or become committed. There's a new something new that starts that's that promises abundance in your future okay now remember you there may be some things that you'll have to change in your life okay because the queen of swords she's very logical she'll think this situation through cut things out that don't need to be there anymore in her life so that she can move forward with this wish with this new thing that is coming into her life something that she may have asked for years past and all of a sudden boom it happens and you're not ready because this tells me, or my intuition is telling me, you're not going to be ready for the change, but it will happen anyway, because it's, it's what moves you forward. It's what brings you triumph, okay? And the abundance that you're wanting, the love that you need in your life, that you want, okay? Here's three. The number three. The trinity, the divinity. Um, three people. Uh, perhaps there's three people that are involved in this in this helpful situation here but it has a lot to do with venus i think venus is supposed to be going retrograde i don't know i haven't really paid attention to any of that here lately but it's something that you're revisiting so it could be someone from the past it could be someone from a past life that contacts you or that reaches you reaches out to you somehow it could be a job that you've done before that comes back or asks you to to return that they have an, a position for you if you if you desire it and this could just have to do with love you know because of the wishes that you have put out it could be abundance in in relationships maybe a new relationship that steps in but this tells me the one tells me that it could be uh, related to jobs Maybe entrepreneurship. Either way. You have situations in your life that right now are not very clear. And I guess that's why the, uh, the high priestess has come out. Because there's a lot of confusion. There's fogginess. You haven't seen things clearly for what they truly are. And there's something that you're denying even to your own self. Because you're getting the moon. The moon tells me that you're moving forward, but in the darkness, in the fog, you really can't see your way forward. And you have fears that are associated with the changes that you must make, that you know you need to make. Intuitively, you know, you just 
don't want to go there right yet because it's it's too much it's 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 a big upheaval that's hard to to do sometimes but then you're getting the star so the star says huh, don't worry about it these changes that are coming are truly divinely guided you're following your divinity regardless of whether you know this or not and you're being protected by your guides you're being protected by your angels so luckily for us we have that <laughs> Look at everything you do through the eyes of charity. Help others if you can. Be helpful. Be a loving soul with no malice, remember. No matter how you come off to others, still be yourself. If you can give of yourself, do so. Because it'll always be returned to you by the, by the divine, by the universe. And don't do it for that. Do it because you feel it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, okay, if others are not going to... If they're going to judge you or not see it, who cares what they think? Remember, we're not allowed to judge anyone or anything. We just need to be ourselves and move forward. <clears throat> You're going to get inspirations that come to you, again, through your intuition. And because of this Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands, which is very creative, and inspirations are always coming to her. Creative energy. And you have... The Empress as well, that, that manifests into the physical, because she can. Okay? You're going to get a beautiful inspiration, whether if you're a writer, you're going to get an inspiration to write. If you're a painter, you're going to be inspired to paint. Something that changes you. You get inspired by the divine, because it's, it's all connected. We're all connected to that. Okay? You're going to see the reflection of yourself, of the things around you, and you're going to realize how connected we truly are to, to nature, to the world, to the divine. You're going to see that what is around you is what you have manifested yourself. So you, you find a way to start manipulating the elements, manipulating yourself inside. You're going to go within and you're going to say, okay, I want to change this. So how do I do it? Ask for guidance. Knock on the door. Hello, hello, I need help with this. Help comes. It'll come through your intuition, through your heart, because the angels speak to your heart. They don't speak to any other part of you. They don't speak to your wallet or your bank account. They speak to your heart, your soul. This is where the change has to happen. Once you find that connection to the divine, everything else changes. Everything around you will change. Everything will get better. But you need to follow your guidance. Once you ask and they say, jump the river, go jump in the river. <laughs> don't say, oh, no, I don't want to get wet. Yeah, you want to get wet. You want to you wanna find that. You're going to jump in the river and then you're going to find this big old rock and it's a big old diamond. And that helps you manifest the other things. I mean, of course, that is just an example of my crazy imagination. I'm just saying, you know, if they... If you ask for the guidance, you need to follow it. Otherwise, what's the point? Okay. Whew. That was a lot. Now comes, if you cut off, I good. Because now comes your interactive part. I have four decks here lined up ready for that. Don't be afraid, people. To speak your mind, to get out, talk to other people. Let them know who you truly are and the energies that actually guide you. If they don't like you, who cares? God loves you. I love you. I want to thank you guys for your support your likes your shares i do appreciate it and i do need them thumbs up guys if you like this video don't forget i know a lot of you watch it but not everyone uh pushes that little thumbs up push that little thumbs up a b and c is on the table i have enjoyed your Commitment to my channel. So I'm so committed to coming to you every week, no matter what's going on. I try to be on time with my videos. A, 
A, B, and C is on the table. Okay. Two more to go. If you guys would like a private reading with me, please check my links below or write to me at risesheelingarts11 at gmail.com. If there's anyone else, it's not me, so keep that in mind. Okay. One more. Get extra cards this week. Remember to go outdoors and connect with the with nature, regardless of what you have to do. And if you can uh, help out in some way, help others, it is greatly needed, especially children. If you have children, grandchildren, find out what's going on with them, check in on them just in case. I will do the same. Since there were so many children in the Jesus cards, that means something. Okay, cards are on the table. For those of you that chose A, peace is on the table again. Forgiveness is coming through <clears throat> very big. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. Once you see everything through the eyes of an angel, through the eyes of love, forgiveness comes very easily, no matter what has happened. Because remember, they're all parts of us. Somehow we needed to learn that lesson. Somehow we needed to go through that experience. And I know some of them are terrible. I'm not trying to say that lightly. But forgiveness is very important because if you truly want to taste happiness or love, in the future, you must forgive the past. You must forgive yourself. Sometimes that is the hardest. You can forgive everyone else, but forgiving yourself, the choices you've made, the things that you've done, you had to. There was no other way you could choose. Just look at it that way. Forgiveness is very important because it helps you open up the channels of love so that it can come in. For some of you, what you're asking for when it comes to romance is worth waiting for. It's coming. The time is not yet because you still have to work on forgiveness of self. Okay. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So it's coming. If you are in a committed relationship, there's things that you're asking for, either babies or commitment, marriage. Don't worry. It's coming. It's worth waiting for. You just need to work on the way that you interact in that relationship and the way you love yourself because it all begins with self and then you can help another peace very important when we balance silence with activity we discover true peace of mind the source of all joy and happiness bring some peace into your heart so that you can easily forgive and let go of the things that are occurring or that have occurred in your life and then take action towards the forgiveness take action towards the things that you truly want that are worth waiting for remember your actions do speak louder than your words express your love through your actions whether you are in a relationship or not because that is how people sometimes truly see your words sometimes don't don't make a connection, but your actions, the way that you act, the way that you treat other people, the way that you treat yourself, your kindness, it shows, it shines like a beacon. So keep it up. Know that I love you, and I'll talk to you again next week. For those of you that chose B, the past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. Release the past, past lovers, past situations, 
as you heal the past, your future, your present, they they change. There's more love in those times. Be very grateful for the things that you do have in your life, the people that are in your life, the people that help you, the people that have things to do with you every day, with your everyday life, family, friends, neighbors, people at work. Be grateful for what they're teaching you, for the lessons that you're learning. Be thankful. A grateful heart is like a magnet drawing towards it wealth of abundance. So the more grateful you are, the more the universe bestows upon you all the abundance that you truly want of love, friends, family, children, whatever it is you desire. Ask and it shall be given. But you need to be grateful for every little thing that you have in your life. Then more comes. Attraction. Attract love by falling in love with everything around you. The flowers, the sun, the clouds, the rocks. I lose myself in a little rock. Or a shell if I'm on the beach. It just Everything is so beautiful. It has its beauty. So does a rose. Every little petal. The way that it forms. All the little shadows. All the colors. The smell. The way it hangs on the bush. Everything has its beauty. I fall in love with life again so that the true essence of love comes into your heart. And you can share it with the people around you. If you're in a relationship, good. If you're not, you will attract a better relationship than what you've had in the past. Because you're appreciating everything. You're full of gratitude for what you do have, for everything you've learned that you're not going to either repeat or the things that you want to show another you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So live in the present. Don't try to move forward. Don't go backwards anymore. Release the past. Send love to it because that's all you can do. You had to make those choices. You had to go through those experiences. The past is the past. Now you want to live happy in the present. You want to fully be in love with everything, you know. Attract beautiful things into your life now. Listen with your heart. You're listening to what is being said to you, but not listening with a loving heart. Open up the heart. The things that people are telling you is coming from their heart, but you're not listening to it in that fashion. Connect with them on a heart level. And you will see love being reflected back to you from whoever's there. <laughs> Whatever they're saying to you, you'll see the love in it. You'll see the wisdom in it. You'll see the connection to the divine, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's helping you position yourself like a compass on your own life path i love you talk to you again next week all right <clears throat> now for last but not least discernment you are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion this is the hard part to be able to see with this eye and not the ones that you actually see in the 3D, you know. Look at things with your intuition from your heart space so that you can tell what is a lie and what is the truth. Don't look at it from fear, from a fear-based angle. Because then everything will look like a lie and not truth. You're developing the skill to distinguish love from fear. And truth from what isn't true, what is an illusion that people are presenting to you. So discernment is going to become very important for you this week so that you know what is unrequited love and what truly is love. Okay, You're getting the unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So for some of you this week, you may see someone that's attractive, <clears throat> but they're not going to see you in the same way and vice versa. Someone might be attracted to you, but you're not going to be attracted to them. So there's going to be some type of a magnetic pull to someone. Maybe this is just a lesson so that you can learn to tell the difference between what's real and what isn't, what's love and what isn't, what's fearful and what isn't. So there'll be a situation where there's unrequited love. Somebody's going to come to you and you're going to look at them and go, well, I don't like you. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if you have millions or trillions or whatever you are, I don't have that heartfelt connection with you. Or vice versa. They won't have it with you. Learn this, okay? Because if it love is not there, don't push. There's another direction. There's someone better. Because share your heart to love another is the ultimate, 
ultimate expression of grace. Love is what you truly want, and it is coming because you have a spiritual connection with someone that's going to be very important that comes from a past life. There's someone coming into your life. So you need to know when there's someone that's there that's really not important, okay? It's just like a, I don't know, deflection, you know, to see if you're going to fall for it again. Are you going to fall for this or are you going to wait for this? This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So there's going to be someone that comes into your life that perhaps shouldn't be there. Okay, there's going to be unrequited love. It's not going to be a love that's a heartfelt connection. It might be a physical connection, a sexual connection. Um, so be careful because those don't usually end well. And if it comes from a past life and it, it's just a purely an attraction that's sexual and there's nothing else in common, then you need to see it for what it is. A past life, just saying hi and set them on their way. If that's not the case, if there is a spiritual connection with this person, don't start with, you know, being attracted to them sexually. Wait. Wait it out. Get to know the person because there's someone that is coming that does have a connection with you for many, many lifetimes. And is due to come. You're attracting this person through your intuitive guidance. And so they are as well. They may already be on their way for true love. Okay, but someone else might show up at the same time. That's not going to be what you truly want. Remember, we're learning discernment this week. So one's going to be good and one's not. <laughs> so you have to be careful. Because sharing your heart with someone else is very important in life. Now, I forgot a card. That reminds me that there's another card that I did not speak about. And there it is. <laughs> I put it back in the back. Ah. It's in your hands. When this person or situation comes into your life that you really want to have a relationship with, it's, it's going to be in your hands because... For some of you, there's someone that's coming into your life that's going to be very important for you to have a relationship with, okay? You may already be with this person if you are in a relationship. Because this card came out at the end of the other cards. I just I forgot it. I just thought of it now. It came to me because of something I said. <clears throat> for those of you that chose C, this is really deep, okay? And this is part of the entire reading. So for everyone else who disconnected already, too bad. It's in your hands. This this cherub is holding a, a butterfly by it, the tip of its wings. It can kill it. So for some of you, there's going to be a romance that comes into your life. If you are already in a relationship, be careful because you may lose your soulmate that you're with for one that's going to be... Um, a very sensual and sexual relationship because it's got a really strong pull from the past but it's not going to be a conventional type of a relationship there's going to be something about it that's not that's not going to mesh with your life but the pull is going to be very difficult for you to say no to so just give in is what this card says given to the love that's going to come because you're going to learn something very important from it allow love to envelop you in its wings even if there's a sword hiding there that will hurt you in the process but it's the giving yourself up to love to that emotion to that sensation that's going to to help you you're going to feel free you're going to feel connected to all there is because there's an energy that's coming for us an energy of love that's coming for us that's going to help open up our intuitive guidance it's going to help open up our heart chakra to a position where it hasn't been up to now we're going to start seeing things through a different 
lens through a different light. And I'm not saying rose-colored glasses and everything is beautiful, blah, blah. No. It's going to be a new level that, I guess due to the ascension or the way that the peacemakers need to start seeing the world in order for us to truly attract more of that energy so we can help help humanity or help the earth on a global level. There has to be a change within us and it has to start with love. Okay, It has to start with that emotion. So we need to start giving ourselves up to love, no matter if it hurts you or not. But it's a lesson that you'll learn. Even though there is someone coming for those of you that are single, it doesn't matter. Someone very important will come into your lives. We've had to wait for it because there were so many lessons that we had to learn. For some of you, it's someone from a past life that you don't know yet. For some of you, you are already with your soulmate. But you need to learn to love them unconditionally. Even if it hurts you. You're not God. You can't change things. You don't know what's going to happen. You need to love them unconditionally. It's in your hands in order to kill that relationship. Or just let it be. Let it flourish. Let it be beautiful. Even if it only lasts two days. But it'll be uh, an energy, an emotion that that will raise you to a different level. That will help you evolve spiritually. That will help the love flow. You know, like this. Just overflow. And that's what the earth needs more of. People like that. People that allow love to just flow out of them without holding it back, even if it takes everything out of them. We are unlimited when it comes to love. And we don't die, our bodies, but our spirit doesn't, and it reincarnates. So you can't be afraid to love, to give it, to give it all. Because that's what we're here to do. And on that note, I will leave each and every one of you. I love you. And this has become a very long reading. <laughs> but my love overflows for all of you. Have a wonderful week. And I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now. Hugs.